Okay, the last thing worth mentioning on this page is the spec title. Uh, the spec title allows you to put product specs on your page. If you couldn't get everything you wanted in the description field, um, you might consider using this field. It, it basically gives you a link on your product page, and when you click on that link, it'll open up a pop-up window that you specify in the spec call. So the spec title is actually the text of the link. So I want to put uh, shipping information because I know this is a, a topic that exists by default. So I want to put a shipping link on my page, and I want that link to link to t2 dash shipping dot aspx so t dash shipping dot aspx would take me to the shipping topic but it would show me the shipping topic inside of the site's template um, but I actually just want the shipping topic all by itself without the left nav and the header wrapped around it so I used a t2 and let me update this and show you what I'm talking about So now we've got this shipping link, and if you click on it, you'll see it opens a little pop-up window, and this is a topic called shipping. So that's kind of a handy feature. You could set up uh, size charts this way, for example. Specs inline allows you to, instead of popping it up in a window, just add it to the bottom of your product page. Um, it puts it in a a specific height box though and it usually doesn't look quite right so I recommend the pop-up window if you use spec title call and the last options here are not used anywhere so we'll just skip right over those and the extension data tab is really just a place to put extra data about your products uh, it won't show anywhere on the website unless you modify your XML packages to show that data so um, for the most part, most people leave these blank. So that covers all the product level fields. Um, and now I'm just going to jump down to the product variant. 